Well, it's two things for sure, Brother Hall. Oh, yeah. The Bible say after death comes the judgment. Yeah. So there's a death, there's a judgment, and the only way to be judged, it got to be a resurrection to stand before. That's right. Oh, right. Tell me somebody. Yeah. I'm just taking my time. I just ain't this ain't this ain't the hooping one yet. <laughs> Amen. We got some points. This this passage is is pregnant. This passage is pregnant with points. Mm. Amen. That need to be delivered. Yeah. Don't go to sleep on me, son. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So, 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 so this, this passage is pregnant with points that will help us. You ready for them? Because Christ is risen. Because the dead does rise. You know, that what Paul addressed. He said, now if, now if Christ has preached that he has been risen from the dead, how do some among you say there is no resurrection of the dead? Mm -hmm. He was dealing with them. Amen? So now, number one, point number one I want to deal with, because the resurrection is real, and because the dead do rise, it, 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 it proves that our faith is not in vain. I say it gives, it, it gives proof that our faith is not in vain because of the resurrection. Yeah. Hmm? I, I know it's going it's, it's, don't y'all go to sleep, don't go to sleep on me now because I know y'all want me to hoop and holler and, 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 and throw my leg up today. And, you understand? But we, we, want, we want to make sure we get truth. Because this issue is the most important issue in this walk. That's right. Mm. All right. All right. That's right. Okay. If Christ, if the dead don't rise, mm. Paul said, then our faith is in vain. Yeah. Yes, sir. Huh? Come on here, that was a text read. Yeah. If, if the dead don't rise up, if there's no resurrection of the dead, then Christ has not been risen from the dead, and we who have been testifying mm. All right. and preaching, we are liars. Let me back up a little bit, says Johnson. It was in the temple one day when Jesus stepped outside of the temple, Solomon Temple, and Jesus declared that every stone that's on this building is going to be torn down. Y'all yeah, yeah. remember that preacher? Huh? He said every stone on the building is going to be torn down. And they said, how? And he said it's going to be rebuilt in three days. Come on, here's somebody. I wish I had some Bible students. He's going to be raised back up in three days. And they say, it took Solomon years to build the temple. You mean to tell me you don't get destroyed and in three days you're going to raise up again? He, they didn't understand what he was talking about. He was talking about his body. He said, if you destroy this temple, yeah. Deacons, he said, in three days. He said, I'm, I'm going to rise again. So, so the resurrection matters to us because if Christ did not be raised from the dead, yes, our faith would be in vain. Yeah. Empty. That's right. That's right. That's right. Let, 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 let me get real with you. There is some things in life that you have came to the only way you made it through was by your faith. Come on here. I wish I had some real folks up in here. There's some situation that you were faced. If it had not been for your faith. Yeah. You know I'm talking to real folks up in here? Yeah. Y'all need to be resurrected. Yeah. If it had not been for your faith. Because yeah. people couldn't get you out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The doctor couldn't heal it. And the only thing you had was faith in God. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You look for jobs over and over, you couldn't get there, but you, you had a faith believing that God said He's going to supply. Yeah. Yeah. You know I'm talking to anybody up in here? Yeah, so, so, so if it had not been for your faith, yeah. amen, if the situation that you once was in, you still would have been in it. But because God gave you faith, yeah. and you have faith in the resurrection, yeah. Yeah. 
Hey, hey we able to stand the day, God. I wish I had some real folks that know what faith is. You do know faith is the substance of things hoped for, every different thing not seen. By faith, the hell is obtained a good report. Can I get a witness here? Faith is a belief in stuff you have not seen. Hmm? Is ever that faith will bring some stuff that you can't see in the natural eye, but if you keep on holding on, God will bring it. Let me tell you something else about faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. For who believes in God but believe that He is God. And that He is a that energy. Got some Bible students in the house. So if there's no resurrection of the dead, come I can testify myself. Do I have anybody else to testify yeah. that the resurrection is dead? Yeah. I mean, that it's real? Yeah. That the resurrection is real? Yeah. And that, that, that God is still able to raise up dead situations? Yeah. Anybody ever had some dead situations in your life? Come on, you somebody that just uh, some dead situation that you had to trust God to give it life? Yeah. Well, I wish I had time. I, I really don't want to get ahead of myself deep, but I'm a testimony yeah. that God is able to raise up some dead stuff. Yeah. Number one, if he had not been raised from the dead, if the dead does not rise, our faith, now this is what happened because of the resurrection. It gives our faith legs to walk on. Mm. We need some faith that gonna move. Come on here, somebody. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Faith is something that you got to walk out. Yeah, yeah. Can I get one in here? So the resurrection, man. I believe since I believe in the resurrection. I wish I had about ten more people up in here. They really know that. Yes, that he he lives. See, faith in the resurrection would have you to declare that since he lived, All right. I can face tomorrow because he lived. Not some of them. I'm going to get there in a minute. All of my fears is gone. Let me tell you what I experienced on yesterday. This is why we got to practice what we preach. That's right. I was headed to the service on yesterday, and the spirit of fear started wanting to creep in on me. I'm getting. I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to the big house. Yes, sir. I'm going to the fountain of praise, and I got to stand at the fountain. Yes, sir. I'm like going to the big house. On. Yeah. Oh Lord, you know. And then, and the Lord brought it back up to my remember. He said, now you going to preach on me. Right. Fear not. you going to preach on Fear not. And you now got the spirit of fear. Yeah. Yeah. But before I got to the house. You was all right. Oh my God, that would hit me. Before I got to the house. God is a very present help. He moves fear and replaces fear with power. And anytime you walk in faith, God will remove fear and give you some power. Anybody want some power? Because the resurrection, but Johnson of Christ, it proves that our faith Yes. It's not in vain. Right. Can I move on? Right. We won't get happy in a minute. It won't get happy for a minute. Just hold on this way. There's some more in here. There's some more in here. Watch this. Number two. Number two. Number two. Not on this. Now let me back on. See, what I found out about the resurrection, Brother Fair, yeah. that the resurrection says that God is able. Yes. Yes, sir. Come on. Yes. God is able. Mm -hmm. yeah. That was the resurrection yeah. That God is able. Yeah. Uh -huh. hmm? Do you know, anybody know God is able? Yeah. yeah. That's right. That's right. Come on. That's right. From the resurrection, yeah. amen, God raising up Jesus, say that God is able. Yeah. Yeah. What is he able to do? Yeah. He's able to do exceedingly, yeah. abundantly, yeah. 
more than what you even able to ask or even think, man. Because of the resurrection, it proved that, that whatever your situation is, y'all yeah. need to get this, because some of y'all might be losing hope. Yeah. But the resurrection gives you hope. Yeah. 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 Hope is expectation for something to happen in the future. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. It's a high expectation that my tomorrow, hit me when you can, Gonna be better than my today. Yeah. Yeah. The resurrection gave me hope that 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 I can make it when things get rough. Yeah. Because it proves the power of the Almighty. Yes, sir. And somebody needs to understand today, whatever you're going through, yeah. Amen. Whatever your situation is, God has the power. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody say God is able. God is able. Yeah. Because of the resurrection. Yeah. Because God raised Jesus yeah. from the dead. Yeah. And did it just like he said he was going to do. Yeah. Yeah. Not only that, because of the resurrection, it shows us the timing of God. Yeah. 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 It couldn't be in four days. Yeah. Yeah. It couldn't be in two days. Yeah. Yeah. It had to be on the third day. Yeah. It shows us the timing of God. And that's what we need to understand. We need to appreciate, honey, Brother Hall, the timing of God. Anybody appreciate God's timing? You do know that he is an all-time God. Oh, yes, he is. Y'all got to excuse me because I feel my, my help is coming on. Number one, I say it proves your faith is not in vain. Number two, since the resurrection is real and it matters, it proves that you don't have to be afraid. What are you saying to me? Yeah. See, most of us, if we be real with ourselves, we're afraid to die. Yeah. All right. Come on here, somebody. We're afraid to die. We. Although we know it's coming. But the cause, watch this, man. I read it from the census, you know. I read, since of the resurrection, Jesus took the sting out of death. Yeah. Based upon the scripture, man. Yeah. Anybody want the word? Yeah. He snatched the keys. Yeah. He took the power from the grave. Yeah. That was the key that Jesus kept going read. So the resurrection, the, it can't remove fear out of our life. Yeah. He said that since he rose from the, the grave, yeah. he took the victory from the grave. Yeah. So now we don't have to walk around in fear of death. Yeah. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. I, I wish I had some real folks up in here. Yeah. I'm talking about some mature people up in here. Yeah. They understand that death is only a gateway. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get a witness here? Yeah. Turn into the kingdom of God. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Huh? And I know that many of us don't like to come to say it about that. Right. But sure, as we live, Yes. One of these old days. Yes. But we don't have to fear. Yes. Because one thing about it, he will yes. be with you. Yes. Now, if he had still been in the grave, yes. he couldn't help us in times like this. Yes. Is anybody here yes. glad that he got up? Yes. I wish I had somebody here. So the resurrection does matter. Yes, it proves. Your fear are not valid. You, you, you ain't got to be worried about a whole lot of stuff. Because death has been defeated. Yeah. I wish I had time here. Yeah, yeah I said it proved you don't have to be fearful. Yeah. Since he snatched yeah. the victory from the grave, yeah. took the sting out of death. Yeah. Then he rose up on the third day morning, giving us victory yeah. even over death. Yeah. I wish I had somebody. I need to let you know again that the resurrection does matter. I heard what Peter said one day. Peter said we ought to be quick to give an answer of our hope. Yes, he said our hope is in the resurrection. Can I get a witness here? Yeah, let me move on. I like this text. Yes, I said I love this text. Because of the realness of it. And so we today 
you and I are those. Uh, might be somebody here today that don't believe in the resurrection. But I, uh, I said I, yeah. I said I stand before you as a living testimony All right. All right. that uh, that the resurrection is real, yeah. and and the resurrection does matter. And I'm, I'm so glad, look what it say, I'm so glad that I ran it again for myself. In verse number 16, for if the dead do not rise, then Christ is not risen. And if Christ is not risen, your faith is still. And you are still in your sin. So it goes beyond his death. Come on here, somebody. Because you said that. And if Christ is not risen, your faith is feeble. Empty, right? And you are still in your sin. But because of the resurrection, because of his death, because of his burial, because of Sunday morning. My sins is forgiven. And I need to know today if anybody here is glad that your sin is forgiven. Is it anybody here glad that it was Jesus who died on a hill called Calvary. Is it anybody here glad today uh, it happened on a Friday but that wasn't the end of the story. They took him down. Uh, they laid him uh, in a bar of tomb. Stay down. Friday night. Didn't he do it? But they don't know what they doing. It was on a Friday. Lord have mercy that he told a dying thief. Today you gonna be with me in paradise. It was on a Friday. Lord have mercy. He said, woman. Behold thy son, and son, behold thy mother. It was on a Friday, is y'all gonna play with me? On a Friday, he said, today you will be with me in paradise. It was on a Friday, he cried out. It was on Friday, then he said, it's finished, I did what you told me to do. It was on a Friday, Lord have mercy, my old pastor was said, he laid his head in the locks of his shoulder, and he gave up the ghost. And he cried out uh, into thy hand. I commend my spirit. It was on a Friday. 
want to false accuse me, he makes intercession for me. And he does that because he lives. Anybody glad he lives? Don't fool me now. Is you glad that Jesus lived? Is you glad that God raised him from the dead? Is you glad about him? Say it. Yeah. Since the resurrection is real, my faith is not futile. Since the resurrection is real, I don't have to fear. And since, I just want to throw this in free. Since it's real, we owe him something. Since he's risen from the dead, we owe him. What do you owe him? I'm glad you asked we want some praise. Yes, yeah. We want honor. We owe him glory. Thank you. And we see that it's a high price to pay. Yeah. Yeah. We see that praise is too high to pay, pay for him or pay to him. So we'll come and we'll sit quiet. But the Bible declares that everything that has breath yeah. ought to praise the Lord. Yeah. And if you're excited about this thing, yeah. but let me tell, let me tell, let me tell you something. You see, for us believers, y'all who feel this, we just don't celebrate it once a year. All right, all right, all right. Every day. Every day? Yeah. Every Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. If I stand, if the Lord give me the power to stand, you gonna hear about the death, you gonna hear about the barrier, and you sure gonna hear about he got up. Yeah. Because he got up gives me hope yeah. for all of my situations, all of my issues. Yeah. So the day a decision needs to be made. Come on, Deacon. A decision needs to be made today. I told you when I started that life sometimes brings issues, amen, that demands a decision.